guys! It's Vicky! Welcome back to the Candy Chill livestream. I am still working on this candy crown. <laughs> I definitely... Hi, honk boy. Depresso cryptid. Oh, we got some sexy waffles. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Here comes everybody. And here's Mouse. Mouse has entered the chat. Hey, sweetness. Oh, there's scissors there. Please don't step on those. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm still working on my epic candy queen crown. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, guys. I started cooking at 5 and was the food was not ready till like 6. Mousy, can you please move? <laughs> Oh, it's a mousy. I'll put her on my lap and see what she does. Oh, Sherlock, what did you do? Also, thank you, Sexy Waffles. I like your username. I went for the messy look today. Just about to upload the fluffy pillow I was talking about to Etsy. I also got a bunch of awesome beads today. Yelly, what is your Etsy called again? Oh, snap! That's awesome, Laris. And <laughs> nice, Sherlock! I have, like, the opposite of a mullet. It's, like, long in the front and short in the back. <laughs> Where did this cat go? Would you like to exit my office, ma'am? Please? Thank you so much. Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Parade Productions. I don't remember following it. Let me go find it. I hope it doesn't make my stream lag, but I would really like to go see Yale's Etsy store. So hold on a second. <laughs> ba ba ba. So sorry if this makes me lag. I found it! Oh my god, it's epic. I see a bunch of rainbow loom stuff. And, oh, and a few candy things. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, okay. So now I am following you on Etsy. Ba -ba -ba. Ooh, ooh, Michael is making a huge cuff. What's what's the color scheme? What you going for here? Ooh. ooh. Uh, yeah, we can't put links in the chat, so if y'all just give each other your Discord usernames. It'd be real nice if we could put links in the chat, but I'm sure they have a reason for us not being able to do that. Hello, hello! Halloween rotating cuff. Ooh, ooh. Alright, I've got to make this crown a little bit definitely bigger. Oh, it's all like backwards. It goes like this. <laughs> Have you eaten today? Of course, I've, I just ate dinner. That's why I'm late. <laughs> I cooked up some stir fried potatoes with bell pepper and onion and some parsley, thyme, and garlic for the seasoning. And I also made some baked chicken. How did you make that? You about to see. 
So this is like a peyote stitch. I'm gonna make a tutorial on this if it comes out good. So I use the peyote stitch to make like each little triangle part and then I sew it onto the end. Yeah, exactly, Kerb did. <laughs> what are we having tomorrow? Wait, <gasps> tomorrow's Sunday! Ah. Yeah, we, we can hang out tomorrow if you want, uh, Pickles, since tomorrow's like our day off. <laughs> what is it? What's it gonna say, Cryptid? I've had a pretty good day. I woke up, uh, pretty late. My husband took me to Duncan. Got a donut, a bagel, a coffee. Then I played Genshin Impact. Um, and then I actually did play... Um, so my husband is a streamer on Twitch. His link is in the description if you want to check out his channel. Um, and so, we were both playing Genshin Impact, and he really needed some of those mushrooms. I think it's called like a Philomena mushroom or something. And so, I was like, oh, why don't you just come to my world? Because he was out of the mushrooms in his world. And so he came to my world and helped me farm for some artifacts. And it was really nice. Oh, nice, Cryptid. I might hop on his stream with him when I get off here as well. Ah, oh, that's so awesome, Crimson Heart. Sexy waffles. <laughs> um, I do identify as a girl, so... Then the nin words are good. Oh, awesome, Sherlock. I don't remember if I checked my Discord or not this morning or last night or what. Oh, it's Janice. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> Jana says, just don't refer to me. <laughs> Hello, Erin is puppy. Janice, thank you for reminding me of your name. I have a hard time remembering your guys' names when it doesn't match up with your... Uh... When, when your name doesn't match up with your username, it's really hard for me to remember, so I really appreciate it when you remind me. Uh... Hmm. I'm really confused because this image is 600 by 500... They're saying it's too big. That's weird. That's really weird. <laughs> oh, okay, Sherlock. Yeah. Yeah, I probably just haven't seen your message yet. I do remember approving the friend requests. Hello, Felix. Hello, hello. My name is Water, but sadly not officially. Hey, Depresso. Just remind us and we can try calling you Water. <laughs> hey, Quiet Dragon's in the house. What's up? I'm in your yard. I'm a dead girl walking. Is that like a song? Well, I think water is a beautiful name because water is like an essential ingredient for life. At least life as we know it on Earth usually relies on water. <laughs> I am here, I am queer, and I am full of existential fear. I feel ya. Yes, from Heather's The Musical. Okay, I'm ready for it. Are we going to watch uh, Hamilton tomorrow? 
Now that we finally finished Ratchet, is there going to be a sequel to Ratchet? Because, like, I still have a lot of questions. <laughs> My name is Marceline. That's so cute! I love that name. Heard, y'all, I heard. I just added, uh, like, four items to my Etsy store yesterday. Um, I added in some of the tiny bead stuff that I worked on. The, uh, the tiny bead candy cuffs. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Thank you. I'm working on making the crown bigger. It's a little over halfway big enough for my giant head. I'm like hoping it's gonna turn out as sort of like a headband where like I can like push it down onto like right here on my head and it can like sort of stay there. I like rather than like sitting and balancing on my head. Hopefully that's what'll happen. Amatria says their preferred name is Gel? Is that how you say it? Gel? Oh, thank you, Yale. I do really like the little X space ones. I'm wearing one of them right now. <laughs> They're just cute! Like, the small beads make it, like, just twice as cute. Aw, thank you, Quiet Dragon. That sounds like a cool song. I want to hear the song. Who wrote, who, who made that song Dead Girl Walking? I'm here for it. Is that like a Rob Zombie <laughs> song? For my giant, <laughs> his nickname was always Bobblehead. I love that. Yeah, when I walked the stage in college, I had to, like, bobby pin the hat to my hair because, like, it was just, like, laying on my head. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Why is there a penny? I smell pennies. It's a lucky penny. Hi, Lumi. I used to be Shark Bear. Oh, Sharky's cute. I like it. I fixed my X base cuff. Was it the string type? What? 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 How were you able to fix it? I'm curious because people come to me all the time and they're like, "This weird thing's happening," and I'm like, "I don't know. This never happened to me." <laughs> Psst, Quiet Dragon is always here. Yeah, Quiet Dragon is pretty much always here. Sometimes. They're, like, one of the first ones here. Sometimes it takes them a few minutes. I appreciate you. Uh, time to meet so I can write the title and stuff. No, you good, you good. It's pretty explicit, the song. Who is the song by? That is what I want to know. Who hath created this song? Oh, thank you, Felix. Thank you. Absolutely. Wait, do not... Wait, no, not dead girl walking. No. <laughs> oh, pineapple emoji. I like it. Hello, Skittles. <clears throat> Heathers. Is that the musical artist I've been asking about? It's about doing it with a psychopathic guy just because the girl group Heather, Heather, and Heather want to end her for bringing a friend to a popular party invites only and she took her other friend. This sounds really complicated. There's a lot of lore. I'm ready for it. It's about Sigs. <laughs> Hi, Joe. I used a different string that wasn't a slippery. Ah, I'm glad that helped. Yeah, pickles it is. 
Oh, it's a part of the musical. Okay, I'm here for it. I love musicals. I mean, I don't really watch that much because I don't watch anything much. Although I have been. <laughs> okay, so you guys know this streamer, uh, Moist Critical. I've been watching his YouTube videos a lot lately. Because he has like a really, a lot of like really cool like cringe content. Where he just like makes fun of like strange children's toys or like makes fun of his high school and college self. That's kind of what I've been watching since Unis Honest passed. <laughs> Wait, how have I never heard of this musical before? Is it literally called Heathers? Dude, yeah, Moist is so funny. Like, holy crap. Which by the way, his YouTube channel is called Penguins Zero. It's like a Z on the penguins. But like, I just watched him like making fun of the poopsie doll and making fun of this weird broom and making fun of himself on several occasions. <laughs> That's so cool. Aw, oh, <laughs> thanks, Alan. Yeah, I'm usually wearing my Unisonis candy, but I think I took it off in the kitchen or something. So, I was, like, I'm usually wearing my Unisonis single and choker. Um, sometimes I'll wear the choker on my arm, I'll just, like, fold it in half. But, like, since I actually wear it on a day-to-day -day basis, it sometimes ends up outside of my office. I'll, like, take it off because I'm washing dishes or something. Do you have Tech Duck? I do not! <laughs> yeah, I can't afford therapy either, or I would 100% be in therapy. I really need it. Hello. <laughs> if you need therapy and you can afford it, please go. It's... Really, it can be really life-changing if you get the correct therapist. <laughs> I have human issues. Yeah, exactly, Felix. I was just so happy to be there to witness the end. Uh, and I was happy to have been there to witness Unisonis in itself. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I have still not seen hairspray. <laughs> How many times do you find random candy laying around your house? It's usually in the kitchen, like just on like the bar. Because I'll just take it off there. It's in the kitchen and my bathroom. So I'll either take it off to do the dishes or scoop the cat poop. Because you don't want no cat poop on your candy. Or I'll take it off to take a shower and then just leave it there. So yeah, like pretty much every day there's just candy in my kitchen and bathroom. <laughs> but I'm really grateful that I was there for Unis Honest. I didn't see every single video. I got really close. Um, uh, and that's okay. I'm just really happy that, like, I was there. Yes, Pickles! We need to watch musicals. <clears throat> the ones who won't let me eat dino nuggets. What the hell, dude? Oh, thanks, Felix. I don't think that's how that works, though. I, I don't think that you can't dye your hair just because it's curly. You can still put the dye in it, right? <laughs> I'm confused. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I got that gourd today, man. I don't know. Maybe I need a drink. 
Um, <coughs> thank you, Isabella. Ooh, Sherlock. With that organization. My birthday video was learning to breathe underwater. I forgot what mine was. I looked it up. Musicals with popcorn and homemade brownies. Okay, so I do have popcorn at home. And I do have the ingredients for brownies. So we can totally make this happen tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I probably found Unisonis in like July of this year. And they started it in like... November of last year so I was a little late to the party but I still like watched a lot of the videos making a scarecrow <laughs> oh my gosh and then the later video when he puts the the hay and the um the spa for like seven minutes of heaven, seven minutes of hell, and Mark's just like, is this the poop hay? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Also, I don't think I'm good at this, and I don't want anyone in my town to destroy my hair too, though. Um, yeah, uh, so hair dye and bleaching your hair is very tricky and it's something you need to be careful doing because you can absolutely damage your hair. Ah, Pickles, thank you so much for the super chat. So, uh, you gotta make sure if you're going to... So if your hair is dark, you'll need to bleach it first if you want it to be like a bright color. <laughs> Um, and you've got to be careful, do your research before you do this stuff. Make sure that you condition your hair, you know, and all of that good, good stuff. Like, I always wait weeks between, like, dyeing, bleaching, anything to do with coloring my hair. And I condition my hair every single day. <laughs> Because it can really damage it. But, like, at the end of the day, guys, it's just hair. You know? It's hair. It's okay. Yeah, definitely be careful bleaching your hair. Um, some people make the mistake of bleaching their hair multiple times in one sitting. And you should never do that. Ever. Just, like, do one lightning treatment. If it's not light enough... Give your hair a couple weeks, moisturize it every day, and then bleach it again. <laughs> and when you're done bleaching, you might need some color treatments uh, before you can put a color in it, because it might turn out yellow or orange. Me though, I do one treatment of bleach on my hair, and it turns yellow, and I put pink in it. <laughs> and that's, that's what I do. But, like, after I do bleach it, I usually wait at least two weeks before I put color in it. <laughs> when I condition my hair, it becomes poofy. I get the opposite problem. I feel like like the conditioner like weighs my hair down and makes it unpoofy when I want it to be poofy. That sounds really cool. Sherlock! <laughs> the bleaching part is really the most dangerous part for your hair. Like, there's people who have, like, sat there and bleached their hair, like, three or four times at once, and then it just falls out. <laughs> They're like, whoa! Don't do that. Hey, <laughs> Brad Mondo, yeah, I've, I've seen this guy. Oh, it's up already. But, like, at the end of the day, if I mess up my hair, you know what, guys? I don't care. I'll shave it off. I shaved it off last year. It grows back. No big deal. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Gina. 
I mean, uh, I could definitely see, you know, therapy itself or even the idea of therapy being very uncomfortable for you. <laughs> Um, and that's normal. And, uh, sometimes, like, what the hell, Maddie? Why would you throw your beads away? Oh my god. What is this problem? Guys, yes. Sending virtual hugs. But hey, I mean, do what you can, even if it's outside of your comfort zone. Try to get a therapist. If you don't like your therapist, try to get a different therapist. You know, I, I do like to encourage people to get professional help, but uh, it does happen sometimes that you get really unlucky and the, the doctor that you go see turns out to have no idea what they're doing. And a lot of times you might have to go through a few of them before you actually find someone who's a good fit for you. For real, Maddie, your dad is stupid. Why would you throw away someone's beads? <laughs> uh. Oh, she's so cute. Thanks, Mousy. She is the cutest! Pillow looks hella fluff. Sure. <laughs> Wait. Pillow? Oh, her pillow? Yeah, she's got a bed. Mm hmm. Oh, that's so awesome, PG. Yeah, that tie is pretty fun, isn't it? They take a while, though. Yes, cat cam. Oh, I'm so sorry, Toby. <laughs> Prelude terms can be really fun. I haven't made any in a while, but I do have a massive pegboard. But I am I don't think I have any perler beads um currently, but I have been wanting to try out the ones that are called like perler caps that I've seen recently. Um it's like it's like a perler, but like it doesn't have a hole on one side, it's like smooth, and I'm like really curious to try that. Ew, Sherlock. Creepy vibes. Alright, Yale. You uploaded your pillow? I am ready. I'm about to go look at it. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. Uh... Oh, I see. It's fluffy. Oh, very cute. Very, very cute. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Guys, I think I might need some water. I mean, Cryptid, I would say that is an unusual thing to do, but you can still do it if you want. Hello, Crystal. Okay, guys, I have really... I'm singing? When am I singing? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get some water. My gird, man. My phlegm is taking over the stream. Hehehe. 
Hello? I found some water and I found this choker in my kitchen and I put it on. <laughs> Squeaky door. Yeah, pretty much all the doors in my house. Or my apartment. Ah, <laughs> oh, strawberries. That sounds really cool. Oh, wrong color. <laughs> Yes, water and candy. That's what we find in the kitchen. Doing good, Ireland. We're having a good old time. I was a little late to the stream today because I was cooking. Yeah, sounds good, Maddie. Unis Honest Season 2. Do not get my hopes up, please. Yeah! Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've uh, got one of those around here. I've bought those a few times. <laughs> In what month is your birthday? Uh, my birthday's in April. Burb, which, which, pride, which pride flag did you make? Did you make the rainbow one? For some reason, when you say Pog on Ponytown, it makes your character cry. Is this a game? I don't know what's going on. Guys! <laughs> what do you mean Unison is season 2? That'd be cheating! Because Ponytown. What is Ponytown? Help. Ooh, ooh. Apparently, Sherlock's birthday is soon. Thank you, Sally. Yay, yay, yay. Guys, definitely send candy pics anytime to any of my DMs or email. <laughs> I'm here for it. If you follow me on Instagram, I will follow you back because I love to see your candies. I also love it when people like are just like posting random memes or like their artwork or whatever. I don't care. I just love it. Oh, bye pickles. Oh, thank you for the super chat. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Ponytown is like an MLP RPG. I'm here for it. Is it free? There's five on it. There's the trans flag, the ace flag, the pan flag, and two rainbows. How did you fit all that in one thing? Rude. Hey, don't grab my candy. Una's on a season two is real? Are you sure? Hello, Levi. <laughs> Sally, thank you for coming. Let me restart the music. Uh, uh, can I please? Have a back. <laughs> Please. Here, why don't you scoot over a little? Ah! <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna cry if the second Renaissance was real. <laughs> They're 
There she is! Cat cam! She's baby. Oh my god, no way! You guys are pranking me! <laughs> Everything's legal if you're dead. Oh my god, that was such a good video. Tune is honest? Did you come up with that? That's so good. Yeah, they did. Um, one of their last videos was the second episode of Cooking with the uh, Toys. <laughs> Not appropriate for children. Hold on, let me Google this. Is Honest 2? Honest Honest 2? No, it can't be real. Ow! Ow! No, I don't think it's real. Heck yeah. Bye, Felix. No, on the new channel. <laughs> Minecraft added vitiligo. That's cool. Cookie <laughs> with spicy toy. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Burb. <laughs> yes, yes, you should eat a banana. I am 26. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I really don't believe that there is a Unisonus 2. It's probably not real. Just, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that. The forbidden Jew toys. No, 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 no. Nope. Please, no. Ow! Ow. <laughs> She did me a bite. Miele. Candy Patterns is really fun to um, mess with. Oh, thank you, Olivia! <laughs> oh, no cryptid! Well, hold on, I'm busy streaming. Can't you see I'm trying to become a candy queen right now? <laughs> yeah, I agree with Cryptid. Hello, Potato. Oh, 
uh, be careful, please. Interesting. Oh, thank you, Sir Luck. Thank you, thank you. I feel like this would be even more epic if they were metallic, like gold, instead of yellow, but it's not good. I was going for like a like a Burger King cardboard crown vibe, so I think yellow is good. Yes, eat the banana. Bananas are so good and tasty. Ooh, ooh, a dog. I love dogs. I have two dogs. Well, I have one. My husband has another one. <laughs> oh, that's so cute, Teru Teru. Bananas. I <laughs> like your funny words, Magic Man. Oh, that's so nice. Oh no! What happened to the banana? <laughs> Was it underripe? Was it overripe? What happened? This bead is very tasty. Do not eat the beads. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, beads are not edible. Please don't eat them. Bella, I cannot say that I have like any advice on dealing with being bullied besides perhaps let somebody know who can help you like an authority figure don't just let it happen I think, um, yeah, I think that's the best advice that I have, guys. Please, if somebody is picking on you, tell, tell an adult. Don't just let them get away with it. Ah. <laughs> okay, you got a ponytail? This might be the last one. Maybe. <laughs> Aww. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, I wanted to remind you guys in case you weren't here yesterday. Um, candyfamily.com. They have a monthly um, mystery candy box that they send out. And they gave me a 40% off code for your first box. The code is Vicky. <laughs> If anybody was interested, their link is in the description. Um, and they send out like mystery beads every month. I can't call my mask a candy mask because it's Walmart beads. <laughs> so I think I'll call it a Walmart mask. Hey, Walmart beads count. That's how I started. I prefer higher quality beads these days, but um, Walmart beats are alright. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I cannot adopt anyone. I already have six pets. Cannot afford any more responsibility. <laughs> I can't even afford the responsibility I already have. Nice. Oh, yeah, no, Walmart beats are all right. I mean, they're definitely better than Hobby Lobby beads. Tell you what, <laughs> Internet Monster. <laughs> Please don't eat the beads. <laughs> I really want to bathe in beads, but I don't know. It costs a lot of money. Oh, awesome, Depresso. For real! Hobby Lobby beads are so whack. In my opinion. If I send it to you, you can send me the pattern, Yelly. I'm here for it. You can also describe it, because... <laughs> Don't put them in your nose, oh lord. I do have a Twitter. At Vicky's Candy. <laughs> what is YTTD? Help. I'm not sure if I will look at my DMs while I'm on stream, cause as you can see, busy streaming, but maybe later. Sweet, thank you, Yale. They're non-toxic. I feel like it'd still give you a stomach ache, though. We'll see, we'll see. Exactly, can't afford merch? Make your own.
And it's free to play. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I just want to eat some chocolate. Thank you, Snop. <laughs> I tried to make my hair kind of like messy today. Oh, that sounds nice, Gina. Hmm, <laughs> that sounds nice, Yale. I think my husband got us a flag and the double pocket hoodie. Neither of which have arrived yet, but it's okay. I'm patient. Oh, hello, Nurse. I think I'm almost done with this. <laughs> Don't chew on the Esketti string. <laughs> Imagine being patient. I am always patient most of the time. Unless I'm in a bad mood. Yeah, I think my husband had ordered the Unisonis flag months ago. It still hasn't gotten here, but I know that the company they did their merch through was having a hard time keeping up. Because they're not used to such a high volume of sales and they had to like acquire new warehouses and all of this. Please don't eat the beads. Oh my gosh. Butter? Yes. Oh wait, are we joking about the Mondo butter again? Ah. Dude, y'all, butter is great. Like... I usually cook with vegetable oil, but like the other day I cooked with butter instead and it tasted so much better. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Ah, there's an ant. Don't <laughs> guys just eat food. Help. Aww. Oh my gosh, potato, stop playing with fire. What do you know how to cook? You know, stuff. <laughs> I guess my specialty is like stir frying some vegetables, but sometimes I experiment with different recipes. I make some really good also like uh, homemade um, like cornbread and biscuits and stuff like that too. I like to make snacks. I like to make all kinds of things. Soups and chilies and all kinds of stuff. Cooking is really fun, especially when it turns out tasty. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, bread. People that make bread are like next level. It's getting to be winter. It's not very cold where I live, but it's nice in the winter to like make homemade chili with some homemade cornbread. Five loaves. You gonna have bread for days. Oh man, the other day I made some uh, 
French toast with a really thick bread. It's called Texas toast bread. <laughs> I made French toast with that and then I like simmered some blueberries and bananas and honey and added a couple tablespoons of sugar. It came out so good. I put that on top of the French toast. Dude, baking is so fun. Especially the part where you get to eat it. I want to make snickerdoodles. Oof, your oven doesn't work. Oh no, I'm sorry, Sherlock. Maybe you can get like some uh, oat flour or something. Make sure that your oats are certified gluten-free because sometimes oats are processed on the same machinery as wheat. <laughs> but there are gluten-free alternatives to wheat. <laughs> Your bones are getting moldy. Is this like a creepy pasta? <laughs> Hi, Rose. Guys, this might be the last piece. I don't know. We'll see. I agree, Yale. I really like even peyote stitch. It's just like the easiest and the cleanest looking. <laughs> I can't cross my eyes. I don't know if it's because I was born I was born with two lazy eyes. And you were able to like surgically correct one of them. This one. But I think they had to like cut some of the muscles in my eye. <laughs> And then this one likes to like, this one's still lazy. It likes to like float off to the outside. So I don't think I can physically like cross them. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been able to do it. But like when I was a baby, I don't think they realized that both of my eyes were messed up. So they only fixed one. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Felix. Sometimes that happens when you're really tired. Hey, Lazy Eye Gang! I'm not the only one! My first ever creepypasta, Bathroom with Carpets. That sounds amazing. Where can I read that? <laughs> All right, hold on. We're gonna see if this is done yet. Hi, John. <laughs> I think maybe it's done. <laughs> I feel like it's too late at night for your monster energy. Okay. <laughs> Carpeted bathrooms are scary. It's like it. Yeah. I don't like carpets. Nice! Fake airpods that work? Sounds like a win-win to me. I've just gotta um, attach these now. Maybe it'll be easier for me if I put it like this. Hi Mira! <laughs> That's funny, Danny. <laughs> yeah, I can do it on command.
Okay. Why is there carpet in your bathroom? I feel like that's such a bad idea. Like, it's just, like, bound to get moldy because, you know, if any water sprays out of your shower onto the floor, it's not going to just, like, dry. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I might have made this too big. We're going to find out. That's why this is a prototype, because we're not completely sure we're doing it right. Because I had never done this before. Hello, Michelle. Alright, hold on, y'all. I'm about to try this on. <laughs> Wish me luck. Maybe it's a bit too big. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. If you miss the toilet in the carpeted bathroom, that would be so bad. Ah, thank you! Hello, hello! I think I might want to make it a little bit smaller, though. Experiment because this is the prototype. I think I am gonna try making it a little smaller. I feel like a whole section might be too much, too smaller though. Might go like a half section smaller. Uh, Lyris, there is a live stream where I showed all my candy. It's in the live stream archive. You can check that out. It's called like candy lizard and collection or something. Oh no, that looks kind of weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that is a better fit, though. I'm 
gonna have to make a tutorial pretty soon then. It did come out okay. Ooh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Thank you. Honestly, I, I, I'm not scared of mice. <laughs> I didn't want to take a whole section off, so I just took a little bit off of two of these sections. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Ah, oh, that's alright! Thanks for coming, Yelly. Y'all don't have to stay here all night. Only when you feel like it. Alright, I think this will fit better. Let me try this now. Oh, thank you, Ari. Can this go? <laughs> I I think Lemon Demon is popular with the chat. Uh, I don't think that that is a realistic fear to have of a pet rat. Uh, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> oh, hey, Marcus. Happy birthday. Yeah, I think this was a successful design. We'll have to make a tutorial. Here we go. <laughs> we are the Burger Queen. Ah, thank you, Sherlock. That would be so cool. Gotta put some of these yellows back. Yeah, yeah. I've gotta see how big I actually ended up making it. I'm sure like everybody's might be different sizes because um different size heads and all.
<laughs> Here's the rest of those yellow. Oh, I found a broken one. Can these go in here? I did it, guys. I made Candy Crown. I designed it and I made it. Which is why it's called a prototype. Because this is the first Candy Crown of its kind. <laughs> Your hair would probably get stuck in it. It probably will. Oh yeah, the skull beads! They're really cute. I've made so many singles with these. And... Excuse me, I put them on the, uh, the Halloween, uh, UFO cuff I made. Do I have that on hand? Check this out. I put my glow-in-the-dark skulls on it. <laughs> 40? Oh, your beads are broken? Where did you get those? What on earth? Oh. Hello, mouse. Hmm. So probably not tomorrow, but maybe Monday I can try filming the tutorial for the crown. <laughs> Here comes Mousy playing with the scraps. Hi. Gonna clean up a little. These little pieces of string are hazardous to animals, so I need to clean them up. Come on. Psst, psst. I let her play with bigger pieces that I'm confident she won't like eat. So I'll hide those from her. Get her something more appropriate for her. How about this one, baby? <laughs> oh my gosh, where are you guys getting these broken beads? Yeah, it does seem to happen with cheaper beads more. I'm move this so she can play. Could you super glue them together? <laughs> Maybe I can lure her to her pillow. Go on, Candy Queen. Cloud. Uh, she's back. Hello, dear. Oh, no, she licked me. <laughs> like trying to read the chat over this cat butt. Excuse me, Mousy. That reminds me, my friend and I got into candy, ran out of string midway through a project, and just super glued the rest? What does that mean? Uh. Please move. Well, that's rude, Cloud. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Hi. Ay 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 ay. Mousy, can you move, baby? I gave you your own little thing to play with over there. <laughs> I 
I literally can't see the chat anymore. Can you move? Bye! Oh my gosh, please. <laughs> my little chonk. That's so weird. Why are they just glue the beads? Oh, hi, my Melody. Maybe Mouse wants to go out. Let me see. Wanna go out? I've been wanting to make something um, with these colors. Um... This purple, black, and white. They look really good together. So I thought, why not make something? I think these colors with glow in the dark skulls would be really cool. Bigger than a... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome, Sherlock. I cut my own hair too. Oh, it is nice, Owl. I'm all trying to style my hair so it looks nice with the crown. <laughs> luck. Ooh, a cosplay wig. Oh, that's cool. Oops. I want to try Animal Crossing, but I don't think I have any, like, don't have the right gaming console. <laughs> Melody. Ah, oh, that's a really good idea, Maddie. Hello, Kimura Maple. What's up? I just finished my crown. <laughs> now I'm just making a single. Ah, uh, Cloud Candy Family kind of just seems like really similar to Facebook. You just post whatever you want, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to explain how it works. But, like, it's really similar to, like, an Instagram or a Facebook. You just, like, post stuff. Like each other's posts, and... There's a thing, like, that's similar to poking, but it's called Send Good Vibes. I don't know if there's a DM feature or not, but I don't know. It's just a fun place to, like, post things and like things and comment on things. <laughs> A candy wig. That sounds heavy. Also, thank you, Kimura. How do you add people? Um, I think you have to click their name to, like, go to their profile and then click add. Don't eat the weed. Don't eat it. Oh yeah, letter stitch cuffs are really cute. 
and like simple. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would make a candy wig. That sounds like a lot. <laughs> Oh, that's really cool, Liverbug. Apparently someone's already on it. Yes, Karomis. Soon. There will be a tutorial since it actually came out okay. Bye, Cryptid. <laughs> you could use spaghetti beads for bangs. Yeah. It's got skulls. They glow. Me too, Michael. Mousy, are you coming in? There she is. There's the real star of the stream. Here she comes. Hello, sweetie. People, we need to make candy wigs. No, 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 no. <laughs> She's like trying to explore the office, but it's not very big and there's not much to explore. Hey, not there, please. Please move. Candy camera? What's that all about? Move. Ebooky horns, that sounds really cool. <laughs> Aw, that'd be so cool, Sherlock. I don't think you can even tell the difference between the purple and black on camera. But I'm using purple and black. Where can I find candy beads? Um, there is a lot of places you can find candy beads. Like, pretty much any art store that there is. I like to go to Joanne or Michael's. Um, I also like to get my beads on Etsy.com. And there's this website, um, called, uh, Candy Family. Um, they actually have a discount code right now. If you order their... Um, mystery candy kit that they send out every month. You can use the code Vicky for 40% off your first box. And they also sell like other random stuff like that you can get individually. Yeah! Pony beads on here, laces! Yeah, I don't go to Hobby Lobby. Apparently they're homophobic and their beads aren't very good, so. <laughs> oh yeah, also Walmart. They got beads at Walmart as well. Hey, no, 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 no. What kind of beads does Etsy have? Any kind of beads you could ever want. I just like to buy from, like, that, like, source because, like, I'm an Etsy seller and it feels good to, like, support small American businesses. So, like, I'll, I'll purposely buy from shops in the U.S. sometimes because it's just nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
there's a lot of there's a lot of different shops to get your pony beads on Etsy if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, Walmart has good beads too. I mean, they have okay beads. I wouldn't call them good, but they're okay. <laughs> the beadery has Loverbug's favorites. I think I've heard of them. <laughs> Am I interchangeable with the candy now? What if it was black and your pride flag colors? Oh my gosh, I can't put this bead on. Does it it doesn't have a hole? <laughs> yeah. I don't like Hobby Lobby's beads anyway. They're like small and misshapen. Uh. Yeah, there's this uh there's a shop on Etsy that I like. It's called a uh, Jolly Store Crafts. And all their stuff has free shipping. Usually, I think. Like, their beads are like $6 for 500 and then the shipping's free. That would be really cute, mate. Maddie. <laughs> oh no! You gotta get gray beads! How long does it take to get there? Are you asking, like, if you order something online? Usually if you order something, like, that's within the U.S. and you live in the U.S., it only takes, like, a few days. But, like, say you order for something from overseas, then it's going to take a couple weeks. It just depends. Yeah! We finished the crown. Oh, snap. I get that a lot, that I say people's name right. But, like, if I don't, you can correct me. But I try. Give it my best try. Oh, Jelly Star Crafts? Yeah, usually like a like I'll get my beads usually within a week. They're uh they're an American store. I think they have an Amazon too. They they have an Amazon store, they have their own website, but I usually just go through Etsy. I am struggling to tie the single. <laughs> oh no. Thank you, Leverbug. All the flags. I was feeling the purple, black, and white, so I made a couple singles with it. Yes, I would like to know what is what is up with your name. Hey, hey, my pan brethren. <laughs> what is up, LGBT community? Oh, nice. Yeah, I just made a couple singles. I was feeling the black, purple, and white color combo. Oh. That actually sounds kind of fun and tasty, though. I hope you guys have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, wow. 
<laughs> Bye, siblings. <laughs> Do you know a good candy bends? I don't know what that means. Hello, Diana. I have some white here, and it seems that I have some room for some white. Just put a singular bead on a key ring. You know, that kind of sounds cool. Like, what if you just cover the whole key ring in beads? I'm all, let me find a key ring. <laughs> I kind of want to make a lizard. Ba -ba. <laughs> I don't have very many pots in my kitchen. Ooh, I've never made a glow lizard. I have some glow beads here. Hello, bear. Welcome back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably a candy frog. It's probably a thing. Um, what string am I gonna use for this? Probably this one. Mine. Oh, this string's too big. Get my other string. I'll use this one. That's cool, bear. <laughs> Mouse. Mouse. I'm trying to make a lizard. Excuse me. Can you move? <laughs> well, thank you for being here. You don't have to be here the whole stream. Oh, oh, please, no. Look, yours is right here. Oh, over there. <laughs> Ay 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 ay. She does not want to leave me alone and let me make my lizard. <sighs> Come here, sweetness. Oh, you're so cute. On the floor with you. Oh, thank you for being here, Ari. 
I'm just saying, like, if y'all have to or want to go to something else, it's all good. I will not be offended. Um, I don't care. I'm really sorry to hear that. What defines a vocaloid? Um, a vocaloid is like... A... I think it's like a computer generated voice. I don't know if it has to be of like a made by a certain person to be qualified as a vocaloid or if it's a company or if you have to use the certain like software. I don't know. She probably will here in a minute. She's sitting there staring at me. Where's my lizard? What does a lizard look like? I forgot. Oh, loud she coming. No, 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 no. Yeah, she's back already trying to take my stuff. Move, please. Ow. Don't drink the candle wax. Come on, y'all. She just wants to play with the string. She's got plenty of food. She's just a little hunter. She can't she can't resist the string. Even now she's sitting there staring at it. Oh. This one's mine. Yours is over here. See? This one's yours. There you go. What? Who left? I'm confused. Do 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 do. Making a lizard. <laughs> Hi. I'll see you, Maddie. <laughs> we need to add to the reptilian army.
We see you, Maddie. <laughs> Bye. Make them candies. Beat animals are always fun. This one's glow in the dark. <laughs> A peace offering? This one? <laughs> I didn't have space to put these yellow in their own tin. Th their own. in their own box, so I just put them together. Ah! Yeah, purple and yellow go really good together. They are complementary colors after all. <laughs> you got this. Freen? Did you say purple and freen? What is that? Ah! I just dropped one. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Oh, green. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ben. No need to be nervous here. We're just chilling. I guess the live streams made me nervous at first, too, but I'm pretty used to it by now. It took me a couple weeks to start even archiving them because I was, like, embarrassed. But here we are. Thank you, Sky. I just finished that today. Tutorial soon. Yeah, it can be really hard when you're just starting off as a streamer to actually get views. And then you're like, oh great, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> I don't always wear this necklace. I do wear it in a lot of my live streams. Um, I also have a couple of other chokers I really like. Like the one with the rainbow mini beads. And then like the uh, Unisonis choker. But I like to have like a little candy necklace on when I get on the live stream or make a video. Oh, not this. I gotta put the feet first. Oh, wow, Sky. That's a hard one to start with. <laughs> That's really awesome. Like, I'm the one that devised the method of making that tie and I still have to watch the tutorial every time. How do you show your hands and face? I have two cameras. <laughs> I think
think you should stream if you feel like it. So you can count me as one vote. So this is my bead camera and this is my face camera. I've got two of them. <laughs> oh, that sounds really cute, Maddie. My name is Keo, and also, you look very cool. Thank you, Ben. Keo. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yep. And like, if you guys are streaming on something like that I happen to be subscribed to on, I'll try to pop in usually. Are you streaming on face or not Facebook, like YouTube or Instagram or what? <laughs> yeah, Sky. Don't worry, I do the same thing. Candy is really time consuming. Um, it definitely takes a lot longer to make the things than it does the length of the video. So don't feel bad if you have to like pause it and then do it and then play again. Because, like, I don't know how long that video is. It can't be more than, like, 15 minutes. But it takes me, like, an hour or two to make the tie. So. <laughs> oh, you stream on Twitch. If I could stream, I'd... If you guys do, like... If you... Like, I have a Twitch, so... Because, like, I don't stream on Twitch... But I have an account so I can watch my husband's streams. Um, so if you want to like send me your Twitch and like the DMs or something, I'll go subscribe. And like all you really need to stream, like if you if all you have is your phone, you can stream from your phone. You can even stream like straight to Instagram or Facebook or whatever is easier. Oh my gosh, it's 45 minutes long? That's like so long. What? <laughs> what did I do? That video had very minimal editing though. I'm really sorry that you have to watch that. Like the editing job on it is not very good. I'm sorry. Holy cow, is that video really that long? Holy cow, 45 minutes? My videos I didn't think are usually... Oh, okay, okay. So the video may be 45 minutes long, but I'm telling you, it takes an hour or two to make that thing. I'm gonna stream on this channel? What? <laughs> I do not have TikTok. But like, yeah, usually, uh, you know, it, it actually takes like twice as long as the video is <laughs> to make the thing. Especially if you've never made it before. Then it takes extra long. That's just how candy be, though. It's just a thing that takes a long time to do. Um. So for the tie, I usually use this kind of string. It's called Stretch Magic. Um... I'll use the 0.7 or the 1 millimeter. And then uh, for the, like, the, the ribbon, <laughs> I'll usually get, like, a skinny round ribbon as well. Um, and that's the part that you tie around your neck. Oh, that's cool, Hello. Well. Where'd you get the star beads? I got my star beads at Michael's. And this stuff, the stretch magic, I got at Joanne. 
And then the string I'm using for my lizard and that I use for all my bracelets. Um, this is a one millimeter uh, elastic. And I, you can find that at Joanne too, or like on the internet, just search like one millimeter elastic cord. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go to bed. <laughs> what? Yep, I usually get my string at Joanne or from Jelly Store Crafts on Etsy. Ah, I'm sorry, hello. That sucks. Yes, guy! Yeah, that uh, clear string at Walmart works pretty good too. It's like pretty much the same as Stretch Magic. Um,. I do recommend getting like the thicker one, like the 0.7 or 0.8 or one millimeter. It's like more sturdier. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, they have a, they have a brand of string at Walmart too that's called like Go Create. And uh, there's one that comes in like a little red box and it's like a big spool. So you can get that in bulk as well. Yeah, it's like 8.30 where I live. <laughs> I usually got, got off by now, but I was late to the stream so I thought I would stay late too. I might also um, be playing co-op mode with my husband on his Twitch stream uh, on Genshin Impact later. Yeah, 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 that Go Create string, that's good stuff too. They don't have anything comparable to this uh, elastic cord really at Walmart though, which sucks. Because this is like the best stuff for bracelets. But my husband's Twitch channel is in the description down below if you want to go check it out. Do, do, do. Ah, Yeah, this bowl of stretch string at uh, Joanne is like $6, I think. And then if you buy it online, you know, there's always the shipping charge and everything. Ouch! Yeah, being getting burnt is like the worst. I have a clear string called bead and stretch. It's kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Central Time Zone Club. Yeah, I usually get on at six p.m. This little glow lizard came out really cute. It does, it does, Maria. I hate that too. The East Coast, that means you live in the future, right? Oh no. Yeah, usually if I lose my phone, I have a really hard time finding it because I always have it on silent mode. Ah, no! Yeah, that's why it's real essential. You gotta uh, watch the tutorial on how to add string. It is 8.30 p.m. Ooh, Starburst. Dude, I'm hungry too. I got some leftover Dunkin' Donuts I'm 
Finna eat some donuts. <laughs> it's a wizard. These beads are smaller. See? Look at the like size difference. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Maria's in quarantine. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me, my cat's nibbling me. Ouch. She's so cute though, I can't be mad. <laughs> Did that go well for you, Sky? I hope so. I think it's time for cat cam. Yeah, Rose, do your streaming. There's Mouse. She's the one who keeps biting me and trying to steal my projects. She gets her own piece of string too, but she still tries to take mine. If there's anything creative that you guys want to try, if you want to try making videos, if you want to try streaming, just do it. And have fun. I mean, that's how my channel got started. I was just like, hmm, I like beading. I want to see if I can help other people learn. Let me make some tutorials. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, you must be really busy, Sky. Um Is there free food at the party, Madison? Cause that's what I'll be checking out. I'll be I'll be having some free food. <laughs> Play on my phone and eat their food. Oh, yeah. I got this bed for my dogs, but uh, they sleep in my bed now, so I gave it to her. I get really lonely at night, so, like, I couldn't have my dog not sleep with me. I was like, eh, you gotta sleep with me now. Boop. Boop. <laughs> in the corner. Get yourself a drink and some free food. Or tell your parents that you feel very uncomfortable at the party. <gasps> Thank you, Orange Beer. We just finished this crown today. Oh my gosh, why are you guys even there? You should be at home. That's dangerous. I'm so sorry you're having to go through that. That is way too many people to be in the same place during a pandemic. My oldest is 16 and a half months. And my youngest is three days away from five months. Those are babies. <laughs> Those are babies. You must be so busy. Hello! This crown is the first crown that I ever mated, so this is the prototype, and it came out okay, so now we're gonna do a tutorial pretty soon. Maybe, like, Monday I'll film it? Because tomorrow's my day off. <laughs> you have a kind of ace-colored bracelet on. Oh, yeah! This one that I just made? I thought the colors looked pretty together. I guess all I'd be missing is gray, right? Is gray in the ace flag? I don't know. Sweet. Yes, go home. Get away from that dangerous party. You 
Yes, tutorial soon. This one's a little bit complicated because I wanted to make it peyote stitch. But it was worth it because it looks good. <laughs> I didn't want to make it moldy stitch because then it would have been like all zigzaggy on the bottom. Wow, that's really early to be born. Oh my goodness. Hello, Candy Kid. Welcome, welcome. We're just chatting a bit. Letting Mouse get some... Playing with some string. Supervised. There's black, gray, white, and purple in the ace flag. Yeah, I guess I'm just missing the gray. Nice, Candy Kid. Oh. <laughs> nice! X-Base cuffs are so fun! <laughs> She's the cutest. Hi, Kyo. Oh, she's got the sharpest dang claws. She is dangerous. I have many scars. <laughs> but I love her. Can't be mad at her. Oh my goodness. That must have been so hard. She is such a cutie. She's my baby. Oh, that's cool, Sky. <laughs> Danger kitty. She is dangerous. I have so many scars for my cats. <laughs> the guy who punched was there? Sweet. He better watch out unless he wants some more of that. I'm pick up my scraps. And this bead that doesn't have a hole. There we go. That is so sweet! Oh my goodness. Oh, you have a bird? Birds are so cute! I like the little birds like cockatiels. They're adorable. Oh yeah! Yes, Kiara, my friend Justin Bennett, aka Turbo Beads, apparently he has a tutorial about Candy Dreamcatcher. By the way, he streams every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central, in case you didn't know. What are some good places to get beads online? So, my current favorite place to get beads online is etsy.com there's a store in there i like called jolly store crafts um i've also i'm also kind of doing like a partnership with a like a small business that has their own website and they're called candy family and they also have a social media um as well like an app sort of thing um but they're selling monthly candy kits that are like a surprise of what you're gonna get and they gave me a coupon code so you guys can get 40% off your first box if you want um, the code is Vicky their link is down below I'd say that's a good place to get some stuff too <laughs> candy dream catcher yikes yeah But what do you do when you don't want to trade with people? Um. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Just tell them you don't have anything to trade. <laughs> it 
It wasn't easy. Oh, gosh. I streamed and I got copyrighted 8 minutes and 43 seconds in? What? What did you stream on? What, what platform is copy striking you? Um, but yeah. I'd say if you meet somebody and they want to trade and you don't, just be like, Oh, sorry, I don't have any tradables. Like, I didn't bring anything to trade. <laughs> Bye, Candy Kid! Thank you for coming! Aww, uh, kitty. Ah! She bit me! <laughs> How did you get copy striked in a YouTube stream when you... I'm assuming your channel isn't monetized. This is confusing. What did you do? <laughs> What? <laughs> Did you play like some music or something? What? Well, was it the music? I'm confused. Thank you for coming by, Sky. I enjoyed chatting with you. I hope you have a good night. Yeah, it's the music. I think YouTube has like a algorithm that listens to the music and copy strikes you automatically. <clears throat> I only play YouTube approved music. <laughs> That's why it's like, even if you buy the rights to the music, like, they might still automatically copy strike you. It's stupid. Yeah, hell. I think you're right. Definitely. I don't want to be, like, negative or rude about it, but I do believe making a dream catcher is considered a cultural appropriation. Um, uh, <laughs> so I'm personally not going to do that. But, yep. Yep, 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 yep. I use... Yes, I only use uh, royalty-free music on my streams that I have pre-vetted and downloaded. Um... I use splat hair dye. It's like not the highest quality or anything. It's very cheap. Probably not good for your hair, but I use it. <laughs> it works. What's cultural appropriation? That is... I don't know if I'm the right person to even explain it. Um... But it's sort of like when you aren't from a culture and like you emulate their culture and it's like a culture that has been like tried to have been eradicated in the country. It's just things get weird in America because like people came in from Europe and just like completely killed off Native American people almost um, so it's considered insulting for anyone who's not Native American to emulate their culture and it's kind of a complicated topic that you might need to look into yourself <laughs> but yeah that's why they get insulted about it it's kind of like, you know, uh, like if you were like bullied for something when you're younger and you see the same people who bullied you thinking it's cool later on and doing it. I don't know if that is a parallel at all, but yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm no expert on it. I just try to kind of stay away from things that can be 
considered cultural appropriation just out of respect for those people. Lunar Tides hair dye. I can look into that. <laughs> I have actually never heard of lunar tights before. Um, I don't know about the not needing to bleach your hair, because my hair is brown. I don't know if... My hair's kind of a dark color, so usually give it a bleach and lighten it a shade before I add stuff to it. <laughs> yeah. Right, so I don't know if I want to compare it to gatekeeping, because that's not really exactly the same. Practice, Michael, practice! Look at all these chickens. Do, 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 do. This came out really cute. We gotta do a tutorial soon. Anyways, y'all. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get going. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be on stream Monday, but I will definitely be on stream on Tuesday. Um, I get on at 6 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I just want to thank all of you for coming to the stream and hanging out and beating and everything. <laughs> yep. Yep. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!